Well, good evening, everyone, um, we, or good afternoon, or good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Um, I am very excited to uh, announce that we've got uh, Paulina here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, a number of you had the pleasure of listening to her. Uh, it's about a year ago now. I'm going to give an idea of uh, how she's really monetized her practice, and I think that's the key here. Um, all of you have got have, have built up an unbelievable following of patients. Um, and fellow providers in the areas that you work in. And I'm, I'm co confident of that because uh, I talked to you a lot ab about that topic. But one of the things that I think really resonated with me with Paulina is her way of really building the business. And so, again, I think that's one of the things um, that I know some of some of us struggle with. How do we keep building and developing our business? And so um, Paulina has been um, unbelievably successful at that. So I thought it'd be really helpful to give everyone um, you know, a deeper dive into how she's done that. And so then hopefully that'll help resonate with your businesses in terms of you'll be able to pick up some of the uh, the great ideas and tactics and plans that she's that she's put in place to build the business that she has. So without further ado, uh, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Paulina uh, and uh, we'll get, get her to kind of go through the presentation and I'll uh, jump back on for uh, Q&A at the end. Well, thank you so much, James. It's always a pleasure to see you, always a pleasure working with you. And good evening, everybody. I'm so excited to hopefully see some familiar faces tonight. I have heard we have 150 practitioners tonight on the line, and then we have another 100 practitioners that have requested this recording. So that makes it 250 practitioners total that can help us to make this place a healthier uh, world. Right. So um, today I'm very excited to chat about uh, a topic of how to build a multi million dollar cash practice by introducing KBMO diagnostics uh, lab works to your patients. OK, um, I will tell you a little bit about myself shortly, just so you can kind of get an idea of what the background that I'm coming from and 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 uh, Today, I will be sharing all of my success stories and my failures and then more success and more failures. And I will basically summarize it in a very simple language with 15 years of my experience of how to build up a very flourishing, very successful, very profitable business, right? Let's just face it. We're all doctors here, right? We, we're all practitioners. Our duty and obligation is to ultimately help our patients. But at the same time, we also have to not forget that we also have chosen to be business owners. There is a big difference between being an amazing practitioner and being an amazing business owner. You could be the best doctor in the world, but if you do not know how to run and operate and build and design and create your business, I'm telling you right now, it, your business and your practice will be very short-lived. So today, we will be talking about that exactly. How can we make our profit, our business profitable, right? Um, a lot of doctors, for for some reason, and I see this a lot, are very much afraid of talking about money. A lot of doctors, for some reason, are very much afraid of talking about profits, and they say, "Well, I'm 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 a doctor for a reason, so I can help." Yes, indeed. But at the same time, we also have to realize, like, come on here, if we do not put money on the books. And we cannot sustain the practice. We cannot keep the doors open. If we don't keep the doors open, we cannot see the patients. So therefore, we cannot help the patients, right? So today, I just want you to be very open-minded. I'm going to share everything I have done uh, for the last 15 years uh, to build up the business and sustain the business, even through difficult times, including the COVID and um, a lot of different national and international disasters that's been going on, right? Um, so with that being said, let me tell you a little bit about myself and my company. Um, my company's name is 7.7 .7 Nutrition, and we are a registered dietitian office. We have five locations here in Michigan, and we specialize in anything from weight management to uh, food inflammation testing, of course, clinical nutrition, candida detoxes, hormone testing. Um, we have uh, multiple locations all over Michigan. However, originally I opened my first office in Tampa Bay, Florida, and I had a contract with powerhouse gyms. I was branching out from powerhouse gyms little by little. And then if you can look at my screen, these are my current locations. And then those are the locations below is the ones that, uh, that I shut down. 
The reason I wanted to show you this, guys, is that I want you to understand that when it comes to building a business, you can never be afraid to start. A lot of people ask me, how do you start? What do you do? Just do it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Look how many... Um, how many locations we shut down, right? And people can say, oh, she has failed those locations. But look how many are still flourishing and look how many are still growing, right? So try it out. If it doesn't work, it's not a big deal, right? You can always shut it down. So um, this right here are real people with real results from, from some of my personal clients I have personally worked with. Um, I will through, go through some slides here just to, to really give you an idea that, you know, we've we've done a lot holistically as a company. We've done a lot of getting people off of medication. We've done a lot without prescription medications. And we really have simply done it with two steps. It's introducing the food inflammation testing, right? And then uh, from there on, treating them with the high absorbency supplements. So let's go ahead and get this party started. So as you guys can see on the chart, the food allergy epidemic is huge in the United States. One out of 10 adults and one out of 13 children nowadays are suffering from some kind of um, allergy disorders, inflammation disorders, sen uh, sensitivity disorders, right? It's a huge market and it's a big multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar, excuse me, industry when it comes to things like that. So when practitioners are approaching me and they ask me like why, you know, we, we don't feel comfortable explain, uh, introducing the testing to, to our patients, I tell them whether you introduce it to them or someone will introduce it to them, the patient will still find a way to buy it. And I always say this, people hate to be sold, but they love to buy, right? There is a demand. There is a demand for it. Unfortunately, there is not a lot of great supply for it. And KBMO is one of those greatest supplies that now we have an opportunity to work with. So how do we work uh, through helping our patients uh, uh, with, with their allergies, sensitivities, um, and things like that? Again, two steps. We have to introduce them to the inflammation testing, right? We have to trust it to the signs. We have to get them to get their lab work done. And then from there on, find the solution, depending on the findings that we see through the test, and introduce them to specific dietary protocols elimination diets, and then putting them on a specific itemized supplemental plan, okay? If you look at the chart right here in front of you, um, in 2019, North America was the largest market in dietary supplements, right? You can see 79% of females take vitamins and minerals and supplements, 74% of males take supplements. By 2027, the global dietary supplement market industry is projected to be over $230 billion. $230 billion. What does it tell you? There is a demand that's there. Right now, we just have to make sure we as practitioners and we as business owners get discovered and introduce the right product and the right solution and the right service to our patients, okay? If you look at this picture right here, that little pie below, if you take the, the blue is the, the is right, right here, the light green, bluish color is a natural and spe uh, specialty retail. So all of those GNC shops, right? Little vitamin shops carrying a lot of products. Mass market retail is, is a big piece of pie. E-commerce is in purple, that's a big piece of pie. And then you only look at that tiny little piece of pie in yellow and it says practitioners. So what's wrong with that picture, right? Because practitioners are afraid to heal patients holistically. We need to change that because you guys already know prevention is better than cure, right? And today I'm going to teach you how to introduce this, the, the KBMO testing, and then from there on transition them into a healing protocol with supplements, okay? The topic of tonight's discussion will be top 15 biggest sales mistakes that professionals, uh, practitioners make. Top 15 biggest mistakes that uh, uh, practitioners make. And again, today I will be speaking as a business owner. I will not be speaking as the, as the practitioner. And at the end of the day, I also want you guys to understand that um, when we're working, we really want to make sure we never really work for the money. Again, that's our duty and obligation to help our patients. If you ever only work for the money, you will never be successful. If your goal in mind is only to capitalize financially on your patients, you will never be successful. As a matter of fact, I have this thing on my team where uh, we have 
um, we have this thing where we do one good deed a day and we do something nice for someone just absolutely out of goodness of our heart. So don't forget, you always want to make sure that interests of your patients come first, but at the same time, don't be afraid to make profits, right? We're in business to make money. We're in business to keep the doors open. We're in business to, to we need money to pay rent. We need money to pay our employees. We need money to pay for liability insurance. So KBMO Diagnostics is a great tool to help us with that, okay? Mistake number one that I see a lot of doctors make is very simple, not keeping the inventory. Here's what happens. When a patient comes to your office and then you decide that they are a perfect candidate for, uh, for the blood work, the first thing you need to make sure is that you have all your ducks in a row. I know it sounds silly. I know it sounds really simple, but I see this all the time because I do a lot of um, training and I do a lot of business coaching for medical professionals. And... I see that none of them are carrying inventory. They don't carry kits in the inventory. They don't carry supplementation inventory. And I always explain it like this. Think about it the way that you came to, let's say um, a hair salon and you're getting your hair done and your hairstylist says, hey, Paulina, your hair is blonde, it's bleached, it looks damaged. I need you on this keratin treatment and I need you on this shampoo and I need you on this conditioner. Then I say, all right, sure, sign me up. Give me, give me the products. And she says, oh, I don't have any. Let me go ahead, go ahead and call the company and see if I can get, if I can get you some in four days. No, don't be that person. We want instant gratification, right? You want to have enough kits in stock in order to be able to supply your patients and get that blood work done here and there. OK, because I see a lot of practitioners and I meet them actually through KBMO diagnostics websites. And sometimes they say, oh, yeah, I have an account with KBMO, but I really don't carry the kids because I really don't need them because I don't have any patients that want them. Wrong, wrong. That's that's completely wrong mentality. You got to have everything in stock before you are even ready to introduce it right to your patients. The best news is that it doesn't cost you anything. James sends you these kits for free. These little tools right here, we have tons of those laying all, all over the office. And even better, I'm going to move my screen. I asked James to, to have him send me, let me see if you guys can see it. I have my drawers open. Send me a bunch of individual items, right? So this way I can have them handy in my office. It saves him money. I asked him to send me 100 sanitizing wipes, 100 little pokers, 100 uh, blood spot cut, uh, cards, and then I have them handy, okay? So here's what happens. If you guys do not have inventory, you will never make a sale. There is just no way around it, right? You also want to make sure you save time for yourself and for your patients because the client is not going to want to come back to you. They will not be like, oh, I will come back in four days, five days, no. You have to have it ready so you can say, you know what? Why don't we do your blood work right now? It will take five minutes to do. It's a finger poke. I'll do it today. I will send it out tonight and then we'll meet again 10 days later and go over your results, okay? If you keep your kits on hand, it allows an immediate transaction, okay? It's very simple. It's the biggest mistake I see that practitioners start with and I really don't understand why. Again, it doesn't cost you anything. It's not like supplementation where you have to buy multivitamins, probiotics, all these powders and keep them on the shelves. Costs you absolutely nothing until you send it out back to the, to the lab, okay? Uh, your patient wants this, this blood work now. Do not make them wait, okay? So tomorrow, I hope everyone texts James or one of his salespeople and, and request ample amount amount of of of, of these uh, of these kits so again we keep our kits for the inventory for visuals like i'll show you right here so we just have a few of those in stock but i do prefer to keep all of my all of my um tools ready and handy um right next to me in my drawers I, I building on that point we're always happy to take orders so again if you guys need anything that's exactly what we're here for. So we're uh, building on Polina's point there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mistake number two, not educating a patient. Again, this is our duty and obligation. We have to teach our patients, right? Uh, what's right and what's wrong. Lack of education equals lack of trust from your patient. You have to ask your patient 
to bring all of the supplements, all of their recent lab works, um, everything that they have, even anything from the past, that they, any testing they have done to the consultation. When they do that, then you have an opportunity to teach them how to read the labels, to teach them how to, to read the blood work. And then from there on, you can edu educate them and explain why not every blood work test is created equal. I see this a lot in my own personal practice when a client comes into me and they say, well, I've done the test before and I've done this sensitivity testing. It is your job to take time and educate your client. There is a big difference between sensitivity testing. There is a big difference between allergy testing and then this, this testing from KBMO diagnostics, right? You need to explain to them why Everly Well and KBMO are not, to, not the same. Uh, test, why the lymphocyte swelling test is not the same test. The more you educate them, the more you build that rapport with them, the more your patient will trust you, okay? Uh, do not ever uh, make them feel that they're they're getting the same exactly test, which is absolutely ob obviously not. So you have to teach them and how you have to compare apples to oranges. Um, the biggest thing that have, works well in my practice is laminated sheets. James sends out laminated sheets with all orders when you open an account with him. Typically, it's the list of foods that, that they test. I'm sure you guys all have it in your practice. And on top of it, I also make my own laminated sheets. And I will show them in one of the slides later above. But you go to Staples, you literally laminate the sheets that show what your small intestine looks like, what microintestinal villi under the microscope looks like, uh, what's the symptoms that we could be dealing with. And it's very simple and it's very visual. People are visual, right? You have to talk to them and you have to show them because if you're just sitting there talking the language that's unknown to them, you're going to lose them. People's attention span is very low. So we have to treat adult patients exactly the same way as we treat the kids' patients, right? Kids need visuals, they need color, they need bright, they need something exciting, right? Same exactly thing. Just by me using these type of tools, I can be more engaged and I can keep, keep my, my patients focused. You will see the slides in a few minutes and then you guys are more than welcome to email me and request them. I will be glad to send them to you. You'll just have to adjust them and put your company name and your logo on it. I promise you 10 out of 10, it, it works all the time. Okay. And we're ha happy at KBMO if you send them to us, yeah, we'll, uh, we can laminate those things as well. Again, we, we love idea. lamination. Um, so Absolutely. again, That's it may idea. not be AI, but it's lamination. I think it works really well in terms of what Pauline is describing in terms of for, yeah. for, for clients. Yep, exactly. Uh, the next thing is uh, you really have to use all types of visuals in stock. For us, brochures are the best way to go. When you're placing an order, you just request from James how many of these you need. This is so simple and it's so important. There is different types of brochures that he can send to you. There is no charge for this. I have them at the front desk. I have them in all of my offices. I have them in every single office for all of my nutritionists and dietitians. You grab this brochure when you're explaining the symptoms, you open it up, you explain in depth what your gut barrier uh, panel means, staple your business card to every one of these brochures. Even if someone says, I want to think about it, I don't know if I'm ready for this, no worries, let me staple my business card, take this information, because you never know where this information is going to end up. You know, Miss Maria, who came in to see you today as a patient, she might take this brochure home and she might not have any interest in it at all. But then her, her friend Susie comes for a cup of tea and Susie says, oh my God, I've been dealing with inability to lose weight and I've been having sugar cravings and I've been dealing with anxiety, depression multiple, for multiple years. Where do I call? Here, this is the phone number on the business card that's already attached. OK, because what's happening is if you do not attach the business card, they're going to call right here. They're going to call James and James is going to keep 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 the, the patient. OK, we'll send them back out to you guys. But it, <laughs> I think it's Paulina's point, much better to have your own name on it than ours. So, again, um, you know, we're, we're the tool, but you guys are the practitioner. Yep. hundred percent. So this is the picture of the actual visuals that I personally created and I personally use in all of my practices. 
I'm a really big fan of this top uh, top visual uh, that you guys see. Uh, basically, the uh, uh, the breakdown of what your microintestinal villi look like under microscope, um, the separation and the tight junction, right? So this way you can kind of show them this is where we want to be. This is where you potentially could be if you're potentially there. Systematic inflammation happens, food intolerances happen, things like that. Okay, I'm also a big fan of educating my patients patients through this slide um, about autoimmunity. I always tell them this because some people say, well, I have MS, I have RA, I have colitis, diverticulitis, Crohn's, diabetes, uh, fibromyalgia. Uh, why? I mean, I don't understand what is it to do with immune cells? What is it to do with my gut barrier? I always tell my clients over 70% of our immune cells are located in our gut. And moreover, over 80% of our neurotransmitters are located in our gut. We literally have more neurotransmitters in our gut rather than in our brain, right? That's why we really call our gut our second brain, right? When people say, trust your gut feeling, it's really like, hmm, listen to your brain. So when you educate them like this, and that's why you tell them, hey, if you have an anxiety and depression, it's because your neurotransmitters are discombobulated. Well, I assume you got one of these in too. Here. What did you do? But in here. If you have issues with digestive health, right? IBS, Crohn's, colitis, it's again, it's something going on there. Uh, if you get sick easily, take a look at your gut. So educate them like that because this, I did not create this slide. I literally Googled it. I got it on the internet and I just put it as a pretty picture together and I put my company's colors on it, okay? But it's just a really simple solution where it explains the nutrient malabsorbency, the food intolerances and you know systematic inflammation. I love this slide of the microintestinal villi because then it, you really can clearly see what it looks like and what it really should look like. And I always explain it in a fun way. I always tell my clients, imagine that uh, your microintestinal villi look like literally like a shaggy rug, like a bathroom rug, right? Um, so that's exactly what it looks like under microscope and that's how we want it to be. If it gets compromised due to poor eating habits, poor maybe um, uh, lifestyle habits, drinking too much coffee, not enough water, too much alcohol, smoking, vaping, high stress, medication, things like that. Your microintestinal villi under microscope break down and they start looking literally no different than a broken down hair, okay? So I will send you these slides. Again, people really look at it as a fun way of educating themselves. It makes it easier for you to explain it to them. It's much easier than drawing an, an example of what villi look like. Right, so please use them. It's a great simple tool, it's a, it's a visual. Um, I also, as a matter of fact, like having the little shaggy rug, the bathroom rug, we ordered one on Amazon. And when we do presentations, I literally hold that shaggy rug in front of me and I literally tell them, this is exactly what your villa looks like. So now every morning when you wake up and you shower and every night before you go to bed and you shower and you step on that shaggy rug in your own bathroom, you have to ask yourself, hmm, I'm wondering how's my microintestinal villa doing today? And then people start laughing and joking and, you know, you break the ice and you create that more of a friendly atmosphere, but then it truly makes them think about their gut lining. So, and every time I see my patients for follow-ups, uh, they always say, oh my God, I always think about this, this shaggy rug. And I tell it to all of my girlfriends and I, and then, you know, obviously when you start, it's a good conversa conversation starter, then all of their friends come to your office also as a referral. Okay, so these simple tools that literally cost you less than $2, please don't neglect them. Sometimes the best marketing is the free marketing, right? We don't have to spend thousands of dollars on billboards. We don't have to hire a very highly priced um, marketing people to run our Instagrams. These simple tools and visuals, literally everything we need, okay? And everyone, what I'll do is um, if you send us, uh, I'll get these three from Paulina. If you guys send in your um, company logos and color colors, um, Alexis will uh, will make sure we convert these into yours and we'll send them back out to you. So uh, that's what I'll offer to everyone. Again, if anyone wants those three, um, send us your uh, your information uh, and we'll uh, we'll make those up for you and, and send them out laminated. Uh, so again, happy to kind of support that because I think again, great visual tools. Yep, I have it in all of my offices. I ask all of my nutritionists on the team, like, hey, do you guys need refills? Do you need more? Do um, if I walk into one of my locations when I'm when I'm checking on ah! 
And if I see that, yeah. if I see that we don't have any of those uh, visuals, so we miss. You make that sound, Polina. Yeah, that wasn't me, but it's okay. I'm joking. Uh, yeah. So when I when I walk into any of my locations to check on my girls, and if I see that we're missing brochures and if we're missing the visuals, you can only imagine what happens. My blood pressure goes up, my triglycerides go up. I'm hyperventilating. This is not a good day for 7.7 .7 nutrition because in order for us to run a tight ship and we and to build a successful practice, we have to have all the ducks in a row. It's non-negotiable. Okay. All right. Next mistake. Mistake number three. We're not creating promotions, bundles, and specials. And I really don't understand why, right? Walmart creates promotions. Target creates promotions, right? All of these big retailers create promotions. There is Black Friday specials. There is Christmas specials. There is Fourth of July specials. Why does our small business not creating prom promotions? Sometimes it's better to duplicate the system that already works rather than trying to come up with your own system. So I'm a big fan of literally absorbing everything like a sponge. If I see someone successful or if I see a business that the business even on a bigger scale that's that's flourishing, I just duplicate their system. You don't overthink it. You just do it. OK, with that being said, I'm sure in your practice, whether you're a chiropractor, if you're a dentist, if you're um, any kind of practitioner, if you're a personal trainer, yoga instructor, I'm sure you run different types of services that you offer. Usually it will be some kind of service, some kind of maybe products, and then it could be a combination of both. So with that being said, take advantage and put good promotions together. Because again, people love sales, people love savings, people love bundles. So I will give you a few examples of what kind of promotions we're doing. My team and I, we do promotions every month and our clients get very excited over it. Sometimes we get people from years ago, they will text us and like, hey, what's the promotion for this month? And we just literally send it to them and they say, okay, we want this and this and please ship it to us. So a really good promotion that works well for us all the time is if you buy one food inflammation test, you get second test at 20% off. Don't be greedy. Don't be afraid to give them discounts. I promise you from those type of clients, you'll get more clients and more clients and more clients. If you think about it, if you give someone buy one test, get second test at 20% off, all it really comes up to is only 10% off per each test. It's really not a big deal, right? But from there on, you will also offer supplements and you will get more profitable uh, through supplementation protocols. So think of it as a big picture for the future. Um, a good promotion that we do usually for Christmas or Thanksgiving or Black Friday, just something that's more of a tremendous sale, we will do buy four food inflammation tests, get one free, right? So it could be something for the families. Uh, we do a lot of those for Christmas. We actually offer free gift wrapping for our clients and we call it the gift of health. Like give your loved ones a gift of health, get a food inflammation test. I mean, it's it's a very simple box. It's a square box. So it's easy to gift wrap, complimentary gift wrapping. So if you tell them, hey, buy four tests, get one at no charge. So, you know, someone in the family will get will get it for free. It's a good savings for them. And obviously it's it's a good thing for you because you got an extra patient now that you can help. Uh, you can do something like buy two food inflammation tests and get gut barrier panel for free. The gut barrier panels are very inexpensive. So it for us as practitioners, our cost is not too high. So if someone is purchasing two tests, you know, it's, it makes sense to give something back, right? So that's something they would appreciate and like. You can do something like $100 off with the, uh, of a food inflammation test with a purchase of 24 chiropractic services, but the purchase of teeth whitening, the purchase of a package of personal training sessions, right? Works all the time, works all the time. We do promotions in my office because we're a dietitian office and we'll say something like, if you purchase, if you purchase a diet plan, custom diet plan program with us, then you get $50 off of the diet program and you get $50 off of the food inflammation test. So it's the same $100, but they, they get 50-50 from each service. Or if we'll say something like if a husband and wife is, is purchasing two tests, we'll tell them you get $100 off. You know your practice better. Just get creative with it, right? 
but also have fun with it. Um, and you can do something like get a $100 or $150 supplement gift card with the purchase of food inflammation test. And you can explain to them that the food inflammation test comes with a gut barrier panel. When we see what's going on with the candida and fungus overgrowth, what's going on with your, with your gut lining, most likely we'll have to put you on a healing protocol with probiotics and specific supplementation. So you can use that $100 gift card towards the supplements. People love it and people appreciate it, okay? Do not be too regimented where it's like, this is my service, this is my price, no discounts. Always give bundles and discounts and specials when it's appropriate. Don't give away your profits, but also obviously understand that it will encourage your patient to bring in maybe their family member, maybe their best friend, right? Yes, indeed, you lost $100 on the test, but guess what? You just earned another client that just invested over $1,000 or $2,000 in your, in your practice that they just spent, okay? That's the important one. The next one, not creating punch cards and gift certificates. This is another simple tool that you guys can use to better your practice. It doesn't cost you a lot of money. We have this ugly little punch cards that we order, order on Vistaprint. And I don't even know why we have them in the pink color, but they literally look like this. Anytime someone purchases something in our practice, I don't care if it's a food inflammation test, if it's a gut barrier panel, if it's a retest for gut barrier panel, if it's a probiotic that came with the, with the food inflammation test, we just put our signature on it. When they get 10 punches completed, we tell them that they can get a product or whatever you guys decide, some kind of incentive of choice. What happens here then, now people will not be Googling around other inflammation companies, food inflammation companies, other others, um, uh, testings, other supplements, right? You tell them, put it in your wallet, keep it like it's your credit card, and just literally every time you come into my office, just give it to me and I will sign it. Okay, that's, that's a fun, great incentive. It put all of your company's information, your phone numbers, your Instagram, right? All your socials on there. Just really doesn't cost you more than maybe what, seven cents, eight cents. Uh, give certificates. This is another great tool that we utilize in all of our practices. Uh, we have these complimentary gift certificate for uh, one free consultation. Again, if you're a chiropractor, if you're a trainer, if you're a yoga instructor, if you whatever it is, it could be dentist with a free teeth cleaning, get these certificates printed and give it to all of your patients. The way I introduce it in my practice is I, I tell them before my patient leaves the office, I tell them, Miss Maria, before you leave, I'm going to give you this gift certificate. Please save it and give it to someone that you think would benefit from my services. Think of someone who needs a food inflammation test. Think of someone who has issues with their, with their, um, with their gut. Uh, maybe it's anxiety. Maybe it's depression. Maybe it's inability to lose weight. Maybe it's sugar cravings. Maybe they don't sleep. They have low sex drive. Their energy is not on point. Please give them this gift certificate because this certificate gives them a complimentary consultation with me. And I tell them that if someone finds me on Google or Instagram or someone that I don't know, I do charge $149 for a consultation. With this gift certificate, it's a free consultation for them. And I will put the expiration date. Again, you guys can see it right there, the expiration date. And I will fill it in usually around 30 to 45 days in advance. So let's say right now we're, we're in September. I will put expiration date uh, October 15th. This way they have urgency, right? If there is no expiration, they're really going to forget about this gift certificate. So they have urgency and they start calling us. Sometimes it's it's almost funny where people call, they're like, oh my God, my gift certificate expired yesterday. I want to get in with Miss Paulina. Can I please get in on the schedule with her? So it creates that 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 um, that urgency, right? That the patient needs. Plus people love free stuff. I'm a sucker for free stuff. Every time I get something, I got a coupon from Christian Dior, get, get a free whatever it was, champagne bottle signed by someone. And then you come in and you spend $5,000 for, for a purse that you don't need. So take advantage of those. Those are great. I can email you an example of how we do it. We put all of our information again in the back, staple your business card. If you have multiple practitioners in your, 
in your office. Like in my case, I have multiple girls working with me. So this way they staple their own card and then, you know, they, they know who this, this referral belongs to. But if you don't take advantage of these simple tools, again, you might be missing out on, you know, extra, extra sales in your practice. All right, this is the biggest one of all. So not investing in your team, okay? Here's what happens. Your team is what really builds the business. Your team is what's going to make your company grow. This right here, you can see all the pictures of my beautiful, amazing girls. I can ver very wholesomely and wholeheartedly say that I have one of the best nutrition professionals on the team in the whole United States, hands down. If you do not invest in your team, you guys, you will never be successful to the max. I have two rules for my company. You treat them well and you pay them well, right? You have to understand that in order for your team to go above and beyond and really give your all to your company and to you, they have to have some kind of tangible incentive. I prefer to pay my team first before I pay myself. I always put myself last, right? When you put your team first and if you really invest and you love them, um, that's, that's how your business grows. I see a lot of practitioners that make a mistake where they take all the money for themselves, they underpay their, their staff, they don't invest in their staff and that's wrong. I want you to think of your business as a child, as a baby. The baby is born, right? You're neglecting yourself, you're putting yourself on the back burner, all the best things go to the baby, right? You're investing all the money in the, ba in the baby, you're forgetting about yourself, you're giving everything to your child, right? You, you, you're investing in their education, you're investing in, in their school, you're buying them computers, you're buying them this, that, that. So think of your business exactly the same way. Invest in your business as a child, right? And when the child grows up, guess what happens? Then the child takes care of you. So my 15-year-old child is now finally taking care of me. Now I'm at the point where I build a multi-million dollar business that took me a long time and I only did it because of my team. I could not do it by myself. And that's the real truth, okay? With that being said, uh, by investing in your team, you're really capitalizing on flourishing in your company. You have to set up weekly team meetings. We do this with my team all the time. We set up team meetings we talk about uh, objections. We talk about profits. We talk about continuous education. Uh, you have to schedule educational Zoom calls. James is a great example. He always... Anytime I need him, I will text him like, hey, James, I brought in two more practitioners to my team. I would like for them to get educated from you directly. James will put an hour and a half of his time at any time, right? And all my girls get on Zoom and then he explains why his tests are different and why and how to explain them. And that's how we learn. The big thing you guys have to, uh, to do with your team is to role play right? Role playing is what makes it perfect because it's practice. Practice makes it perfect because when you have a new practitioner that comes in, those girls might be a little uncomfortable. They might be shy and they might not know what to do. By role playing, you're making them repeat themselves multiple times and then they can hear themselves and then they can understand what they're doing right. Oh, I forgot to say that. or oh, I forgot to that. So that's, that really helps, right? You have to master your skill. Just like when Beyonce goes on stage, do you really think she went and, and danced at the Super Bowl like there is no tomorrow? No, she got ready for two years. She was practicing and practicing and practicing, right? So the same thing, just, just do that. Role play with your team. Maybe shadow them and sit down with some of their patients and see how they do. Give them some calculated feedback, right? Obviously, in a nice way, you don't want anyone to get offended. But at the same time, just expect like, hey, we're here to provide exceptional service. I will shadow you, I will be with you, I will give you my very professional opinion on what I think was great and what needs to be improved. Don't be afraid, your team is your family, right? There is no role playing, there is no, no progress. When I started my business, I was just me. I didn't have an assistant, I didn't have a business coach. I mean, I don't even have a degree in sales or marketing or nothing like that. My degrees are completely different. I literally would create my own spiel and I would repeat it to myself while I'm washing hair in, in the shower, 
right? Because if you have nothing else to do, so you just keep on repeating and repeating and repeating yourself, right? And then literally, even if I work a 14 hour day or 18 hour day and I'm exhausted, and if I'm doing a final consultation at eight o'clock at night, I can still be sharp because now it's on a speed dial, right? It's on auto draft because I already know exactly what to say because I said it so many times. Teach your team how to speak in sentences, use specific language, use specific verbiage. I always love listening to all of the James's uh, uh, webinars. He has doctors, he has practitioners that always uh, do great presentations. And I actually take notes. I'm like, oh, I like how this sounds, right? Don't be afraid. You can sound like a broken language. So um, that's, that's a very important thing. Create incentives with bonuses for your team, okay? People get excited over bonus, right? People get excited and get capitalized by having something extra, right? Hard work has to be rewarded. It's very important. I love to see when my team is making money. And I say this to all of my girls, the moment my company makes the most money, you girls are the ones that get the bonuses first. That's not me. I keep myself all the way in the back burner, right? So it's, it's important that you give them bonuses and commissions. And usually I have incentives where if you, you have a quota, if you reach this quota, you get a 5% commission on the total sales for the month. Or with the, with the assistance, sometimes we'll say, all right, if all of the nutritionists on the team have reached the quota, then you get $300, you get $600. If you're full-time or part-time, or we just basically, uh, we structure it accordingly. This way your assistant works for you and one nutritionist he is helping another. So it's one big happy family, right? So don't be afraid. And again, I do business coaching. If you guys need my help, I do consulting. I have a few practitioners probably watching me right now that's that I work with. And if you organize the structure and you pay your, your team properly, your team will be your biggest fan. Your team will be excited to come to work. Your team will be excited to do exactly the same thing as you do. Because most of the times I hear this from the practitioners that, oh, I'm the hardest worker in the room. I'm the one that really means the best on the company and my employees, they just don't care. They don't care for you because you don't care for them. Let me just say, say it straight. That's just how it is. So please, Love your team, invest in your team, pay them well, take away a little bit from yourself because long term it's going to pay off. Okay. Um, yeah, Paulina, I, I'd also add we do, we'll do educational lunches all day long. So, again, if anyone wants to kind of refresh it for themselves or any of their new staff members, we're happy to do it. Everyone's got to stop and have lunch at some point. So, we're always happy to do that. So, again, um, feel free to kind of contact us or Casey on the sales side or any of the team. And we're always happy to kind of set up those lunches to kind of uh, refresh you or your team in terms of the, uh, you know, the, the messaging. Yep. I've been working with James for over seven years. Not once he said no to me. Anytime I text him, he's available. He doesn't care if he's in London. I've talked to him when he was in Thailand. I've talked to him when he's in Ireland, he's in Boston. This guy travels more than anyone in the world and he's always available. And that's, that's, you know, he's a partner that's very easy to work with. So take advantage of that. Most of the time, if I have to do a presentation for you, if I have to do some kind of training for you, I will charge you and I will charge you a lot of money. James doesn't charge you. That's the beautiful thing. So I take advantage of James. <laughs> Sorry, James. Um, no problem. Happy to be. That's yes. Good. It's all about uh, education. If we can educate you guys so you fully understand what we're doing, that's great. Um, there was a question there about, you know, Everly Well versus KBMO that came up. You know, the difference is it's that multiple pathways. You know, it's talking about rather than just looking at the exposure, which is all the Everly Well guys do, it's the exposure plus the C3D. So it's looking at the whole immune system versus half of it. And so some really sim simple messaging. But again, I'll, I'll send that um, to the uh, provider who asked that again. And, and again, maybe a great opportunity to have a, have a lunch and learn with with your team so again happy to go through any of these things that you want but that was julie so happy to go through that julie to make sure that we can uh, understand that and plus we've got some written materials which we can send as well mm -hmm. yeah and go to the website guys kbmo website has so many there is videos i love the video that you guys posted about the the zonulin and the actual gut lining that's that's a great one i actually shared it with my clients I share it with them and I send it to them so they can educate themselves. Um, all right, moving on. Mistake number six, again, going back to not utilizing free 
marketing material. And then I'm going to highlight again free. It doesn't cost you anything except for two minutes of your time to send a text message with the delivery address to James. Uh, this is my favorite brochure right here. Um, it explains everything that you need in such a uh, just a very simple language. It explains what the God Bearer panel looks like, what is zonulin, what exactly uh, this, um, uh, this type of test can help with. Have them everywhere, all over your office, right? Front desk, uh, all of your uh, consultation rooms, everywhere. I keep some in my car because you never know who you're going to run in and it's a good conversation starter. Mistake number seven, not offering referral credits. This is so important right? By offering referral credits, you are creating a fan base. Everyone, this whole world that's in business offers referral credits. Hey, if you refer a friend to an apartment complex where you're leasing a condo at, you get a free month rent. Medical spas, hey, if you refer a friend, you get 25 units of Botox for free. Personal trainers, if you, if you refer a friend, you get two free sessions at no charge. Um, you know, things like that. So don't be afraid to to send, to create the referral incentives because that alone is going to take you further. Your current patients are your walking billboards. Just don't forget that. Ask them to promote you. When people love you and they trust you, just say, hey, I know you just did a food inflammation test with me. And I know we helped you with your, with your uh, gut healing. Healing. So can you please post uh, on Instagram for me? Can you just share it on your socials? You don't need to say about your symptoms, but you can just say, oh my God, what an amazing test. Thank you so much. Paulina at 7-7 Nutrition. Come see my girl. She's, she's amazing. People love you. They will want to help you. Uh, when I was building my business, I was appro approaching my clients the way where I'd be like, hey, I'm building up my practice. I would like to have a few more patients uh, to work with. Can you please keep me in mind and think of me if you know anyone that you think could benefit from this food inflammation test? I'll give you my business card with the brochure, but I'm also going to tell you that you do get a $50 referral credit if you send me someone. When you ask, you shall receive, right? Don't be afraid to ask. This is so important because people love you and people trust you. You save their lives. You change their lives. Of course, they're going to help you. Okay. So ask, ask, ask. Okay. That's which is exactly what we're leading to right here. Not asking for help. Big mistake. Ask your patients for Google reviews. Whenever someone finishes the program with me, whether if it's a diet protocol that they finished or if it's uh, they went through the gut healing protocol or we did the candida detox, at the end of our, um, our work together, I asked them, can I please send you a link? Can you please uh, send me um, uh, your experience on Google business because it helps my little business grow. That's exactly how I explain them. Hey, do you mind, Miss Maria, if I send you a link to my Google page? Can you just please leave your review from the bottom of your heart? Whatever you think how your experience was with me, it helps my little business grow. Of course, Miss Maria will do it because I helped Miss Maria. She's so happy to do that, right? And the more of those uh, reviews you get, the more organically, without paying anything extra, you end up on Google on top, okay? The next one, the mistake is that uh, practitioners do not work with supplement companies. I don't understand why. When we're dealing with food inflammation testing, right? First step is the discovery. We want to find out what exactly is that we need to eliminate. Step two, what's the solution? How do we heal the patient? And a portion of that protocol is supplementation. James has a number of great companies that he works with. It is on his website. There is a full script where you have literally plenty of different companies that you can pick and choose from. Um, you can contact him directly. You can literally click on those links through his website and open your own accounts. Or you might already have a company that you love and trust and you that you're working with and you, you're comfortable with. As long as it's a great supplement, please keep it on the shelves because... Sometimes people think that they only can heal themselves through nutrition, but that's not always the case, right? Because yes, indeed, you can do that. But what if we can expedite everything, right? What if we kill, can kill the fungus faster? What if we can really load you up with a the, with the high, high concentrate of probiotics and get rid of all those aches and pains faster? Why not? Okay, it's a great tool for the patient to feel better immediately, but it's also a great tool for your business to capitalize and make more money immediately.
Okay. And, and to Paulina's point, we've got a number of really good supplement partners that we've worked with over the years. So again, the idea is we're happy to share those protocols. And so again, we're totally agnostic when it comes to which one you guys work with, but let, maybe give you some ideas of the types of products that they're using, which may be beneficial for some of your clients. So the idea is, again, some of you may be more experienced than others and feel like you've got that piece under control. But again, it's always worth getting an insight into some of these companies. And full script, we work with a guy called Jeff Glad there, who's the CSO. And he came up with his own, with a number of, a range of different companies, some of them I hadn't, hadn't, hadn't even heard of. So I think it's really good to kind of keep current and fresh on these things. And so again, the idea is to give you a range of good supplement companies, but to Paulina's point, work with them. They love working with you. So again, take, you know, not take advantage, but you know, they're willing to work with you. So again, that's a you're knocking on an open door, as they say. Absolutely. And if you guys need my help, again, we've we've been doing this for 15 years. Uh, myself and my team are excellent at putting the protocols together. Uh, I can help you. I can guide you. I can teach you how to supplement, how to supplement on the budget so it doesn't cost your patients too much money, right? How to create those incentives and bundles. That's really important. But you need to find at least some of your top staple products and keep them on the, on the, on, on the shelves, especially when it comes to gut health. Okay, next mistake. A lot of professional uh, practitioners offering too much and too soon. Do not do that. You need to offer your products and services in small bundles where it doesn't look too costly, right? The way I explain the cost for food inflammation tests is I give my clients options. I always give them three options. I tell them option one, I can test you for 132 different foods. Option two, I can test you for 132 different foods. And option three, I can also test you for a gut barrier panel as an add-on to either one of those tests. I don't just say this whole test is $899. Whoa, I'm going to freak them out. I'll say, okay, and I'll tell you my prices. Obviously, we can all create our own price points in our, in, 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 in our offices, but I'll tell you how much I charge because you also want to make sure you don't undercharge and you don't overcharge, but you want to charge just enough where you also have a little bit of uh, layaway to give a discount to a client and still have your practice to be profitable. So I will say 132 foods test is $499. 176 foods test is $699. And then a leaky gut and a gut barrier panel add-on is additional $200. So this way, if they want 132 and got barrier, it comes up to 699. If they want 176 and got barrier, it comes up to 899. This way, they have a they they have um they have options that's not as scary because it's 499, 699, 200. Most of the time, I would say nine, almost ten out of ten of my clients, they will always add the gut bearer panel. They're like, oh, it's another two hundred. So, but when I say, listen, it's four hundred ninety nine dollars plus two hundred, it doesn't sound as scary as six hundred ninety nine dollars, if it makes sense. So, human psychology really plays a big role also when it comes to sales, but. So same thing with, you know, packages. If you wanting the patient to do, let's say, hormonal panel, plus they you want to purchase, let's say, chiropractic services, a bundle of, you know, how many sessions. Don't just say your total package is going to be $7,000. You're going to lose them, right? Because financial uh, involvement is, it's you know, financial concern is, is always a big thing because we're cash practice, right? These services are not covered by insurance. So approach it like this. Let's say, again, I'll take a chiropractor because I, I work with a lot of chiropractors myself for, for business coaching. You could approach them and say, all right, Maria, let's work in steps. Step one, let's start with the food inflammation test. Step two, let's go through a package of chiropractic services. And step three, let me propose some supplements for you. Let me show you prices for the food inflammation test. Show it to them in three small bundles. Chiropractic services, you or let's say personal training services, yoga instructor services, whatever it is, you'll say you want to give them from smaller to larger packages. Like you can say, I have a package of eight sessions, 12 sessions, 16 sessions, 20 and 24 and calculate it where the more they purchase, the less expensive it becomes. Again, I can help you with all of this. I do this all day long. So from here on, the client can be like, all right, I will do $699 panel for, for the blood work, for KBMO. I will do the eight uh, sessions for $799, and I will do a hormonal panel for $699. This is your $3,500 sale right there. 
but it doesn't sound as scary. So just please make sure if you feel like your biggest challenge is capturing the sale, that's something that might be you need to reevaluate of how you're proposing that's that protocol. Okay, you have to make it affordable. You cannot scare your patient with a high ticket price. Um, you have to make sure you work with your patients in, st in steps. Uh, you also have to be able to have your practice to, to accept HSA accounts, FSA accounts, and care credit. Okay, so if you license practitioner, you should have no problem applying for that. Again, if you guys need my help, I would say 40% of my of my KBMO tests get run through HSA or FSA accounts. And it helps us tremendously. And it's a good it's a good win-win for the patient as well. The next one, uh, a mistake of not scheduling a follow-up appointment. Do not let your patient leave your office without scheduling a next appointment. Sometimes I do those appointments at no charge. I'll tell them, all right, Miss Maria, here's your candida protocol. I want you to stay in this for 30 days. However, depending on how you feel in 30 days, I might need you to stay up to 120 days, okay? Come back to me in a month. I want to see if you, if you feel phenomenal, if you feel exceptional, if you feel like we healed everything, or if you feel halfway there. If you feel halfway there, most likely we will refill your supplements and we'll continue with the same protocol. This way it gets her to come in, you answer all of their questions, it takes 10 to 15 minutes of your time, and then you can refill their supplements. Or you can say, you know what, Miss Maria, I want to see you now in six months, because in six months I want to retest the, the panel. Why don't you come back and we will retest 176 foods and we'll test to see what's going on now with your gut barrier. Okay, so then you can say we have our discounts going on where if you retest, you get $100 off. So that's very important. Um, one thing that works really well in my practice to check in with my clients that I do the food inflammation testing with is creating a secondary phone line, a work line uh, to check on our patients. There is an app that we use in our office. It's called Line 2, and it costs us maybe $9 per Per um, um, per person, you basically have a second line within your phone, and you can have five people logging in from different devices at the same time. So let's say if my registered dietitian Stacy is using her line too, I can log in into the same line too, and I can see if she's replying on time, if she's professional, if she's wording everything properly. But at the same time, I can also see if, you know, maybe I can reply and like, hey, offer them these discounts and whatnot. Or if I'm busy, my assistant already knows if I'm with clients back to back servicing everyone all day long, I tell Joanna, I say, Joanna, log in into my line to answer all of my patients on my behalf. This way, my clients are not neglected because I'm working from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m., right? They're getting replies in, 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 in a scheduled manner. So they feel like, you know, I'm giving them that personalized attention. I'm working. It's not taking away from my time. Joanna is highly trained, which goes back to, again, why you need to train your staff to answer the way you want them to answer. And then she's basically working under me and my client is thinking that it's me that's replying. It's a win-win. Okay, looking into line two, there's other lines, but you know, this is something we've been using for a long time. All right, this is a good one right here, not networking with other uh, physicians. So we're all in this together and there is plenty of fish in the sea. So this right here, uh, this girl in the picture, her name is Nicole Raymond. Um, she is a practitioner from Atlanta, Georgia. And I actually met uh, Nicole through James's um webinar i was doing a similar presentation for him and nikki reached out to me and she hired me to be her business coach and she grew to be one of my bestest friends we have a very close relationship and nikki came to me because she worked remotely with her patients and she wanted to open a store kind of like mine the brick and mortar store and i'm very excited to say that she finally just signed the lease um i was in atlanta to actually look at her at her building before she signed the lease and now um she's offering exactly the same services as I'm offering in our office. What I'm trying to say with this is that we don't need to be territorial. We need to network with everyone, right? I network with gynecologists, dentists, chiropractors, trainers, yoga instructors. We all bounce ideas of each other. They send, sometimes doctors don't want to deal with the food inflammation testing. They don't have no time. Sometimes doctors belong to big 
organizations where they're not allowed to introduce those tests. They just send everyone to me. So the same thing. So with me and Nicole, we literally send people to each other. She's also a personal trainer. Um, the name of her company is Atlanta Functional Wellness. I send all of my clients to her so she can write exercise prescription. Let her make money. That's not my strong point, right? Maybe one of your doctor friends that you went to school with, they don't want to deal with food inflammation. Tell them. Tell them you give them some kind of incentives. But do not be afraid to network. Create a community. Um, make sure you guys support each other. Like every time we all go to different events and webinars, like I'm excited to see all of my all of my doctors. Right? We're not in competition, even though we're doing the same exactly thing. So don't be territorial. Very very important. Um, and as a matter of fact, if you do need a great personal trainer who understands holistic approach, take a screenshot of Nicole's Instagram because she has an amazing app where she she actually writes my exercise prescriptions now. She will send you videos of what to do, how many sets, how many reps, and she'll personal personalize it for you and your patients. So obviously, it's it's a better solution and it's a better outcome for your patient. Okay, not attending webinars and seminars. So all of you guys right now, all 150 of you, the smart ones, right? You figured out the system. This webinar is free, but you hopefully at least learned one little thing that you can utilize in your practice and better your practice from here on. If you are not attending webinars like this one right now, you're missing out on all the latest and greatest research. I am always excited when James sends me an email that there is a new webinar coming up, right? It takes one hour, hour time. You could be driving right now home. You could be grocery shopping and listening to me right now. So better yourself. It's, it's a part of our continuous education. If we're not, if we're not investing in continuous education for our team, then we're not really, we're not progressing. If you don't follow this type of webinars, you're also not building a personal relationship with your vendor. I have a very close relationship with James and I have very specific agreements with James and he does a lot of favors for me, but in exchange, I don't work with anybody else but James, right? So if you ever need some kind of incentive, if you need some kind of favor, if maybe you need some free samples or like once in a while discount, Obviously, don't take advantage of James, and he's not a fool. He's going to see if you are contributing a lot, and if you're selling a lot of his tests, he will always share back, and he will always help you, okay? So build that re relationship, but you only build it when you're really attending those webinars and seminars. That's how the relationships grow. The next mistake is charging too low. Oh, my God, I see this all the time. I don't know why doctors are so afraid to charge. You went to school, you spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, right, on your education. This is your business. This is your livelihood. You are entitled to reimburse yourself financially for doing an amazing job. You're saving the world. So know your worth. Do not give any discounts for no reason. Again, you need to be a practitioner and a business person with a heart. I will give you something for free. And I've done it so many times. I've given away free tests just because I wanted to help somebody. But at the same time, know your limits, right? If you don't know where to start or how to figure out your price points, just start with your PL statements. What's your profits? What's your losses, right? Because we're not, we are in business to make money, right? You have to treat your business as a business. You do not treat it as a hobby, right? If you treat it like a hobby, it will pay you as a hobby. My mom makes some crocheting little flowers and she sells them on Etsy and she makes $8 a week from, from those. It makes her excited and happy, but it's her hobby, right? It pays her like a hobby. If you treat it as a business, that's exactly how it will pay, right? And if you treat it as a multi-million dollar business, that's exactly what you're going to achieve. Figure out what's your company's daily, weekly, and monthly goals. What's your company, what's your personal weekly and, and monthly and yearly goals? What's your team's goals? You have to do those team uh, trainings. What are your total earnings for the team? What are they trying to achieve? And then from there on, you create those price points based on all of the goals collaborated together. If you need my help, again, I will help you with that. And the biggest mistake of all, da -da 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 -da, we're almost done here. The biggest mistake of all, what do you think it is, guys? Right here is the fear of not trying, right? Look at this picture. I love this picture so, so much. Don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. This is the picture of Amazon headquarters in 1994, right? 
I pull over million dollars in sales with KBMO Diagnostics, but that doesn't mean that you should start pulling the same, right? Because I've been working with James for seven years and I have built a strong team, right? So, but don't be afraid if you're on your own, don't be afraid to start small because maybe today you made $300 from the test. In a, in, in a month, you made maybe 1,500 from the test. Then it escalates into 3,000 and 20,000 and 80,000, right? So you just have to start because if you don't start, you don't know where you're going to end up because if you start, you fail, whoop to do No big deal. doesn't cost you nothing. Yeah, you just throw those kids away. James is the one that lost money, not you because it doesn't cost you anything. So this is very important because I see a lot of practitioners are just so afraid. Why? If you find the right product, the right laboratory, the right build the right team, you can't fail. Okay. Again, if you guys need my help, I'm very passionate about building the business. I'm very passionate about giving back to the community. This country gave me an amazing opportunity to make something out of myself. I wasn't born here. I was raised in Russia, former USSR, came here at the age of 19 with literally no English and $500 in my pocket, just with a backpack full of hopes and dreams. So if I could make it, anyone can help, can make it. And I expect everyone, for me, it was hard because I'm a foreigner in this country. But for you guys, I mean, you guys have much more amazing advantages than me. Like if I can build a multi-million dollar company, you should, you should triple, you should quadruple that. Okay. And I don't even have a degree in any business or none of the skills it's just literally all trial and error so again if you need my help please take a picture of my information my cell phone number is on the card my email follow us on instagram text me call me uh, i prefer text messaging rather than emails just because i'm back to back with clients all day long um i hope this was helpful i know we went over a little bit extra extra time today um if you have any questions, I'm glad to answer. James, if you have any feedback, I'm here for you. Thank you so much for your time. Well, fir firstly, from uh, one immigrant to another, uh, who've also done reasonably well here. So uh, we uh, we love the U.S. as much as, as you do, Polina. So uh, I agree. It's uh, you know it's a great place to be, uh, and we're very fortunate to uh, to be in the U.S. and uh, and, and I can speak from the same from the same place as you on that. I was going to ask you a couple of things. So firstly, those 15 were amazing. Very, very helpful. If you were to choose one, which one would it be in terms of the things that you should make sure that uh, they're doing uh, kind of or which of the 15, which of those mistakes do you think they should avoid? Invest in your team and education, because when you get educated, you become more passionate about what you're doing. And when you have your team as strong as you are, that's how the magic happens. I always say this, we're only as strong as our weakest link. If my assistant doesn't know how to interpret the blood work while I'm sick or while I'm away, what good, what's, what, that's, that, that doesn't help me, right? So education, 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 because knowledge is power. Yeah, great. And then you mentioned promotions, how you get, just give everyone an idea of how you send those out. Is it email, social media, your, your list of people. So just to give them an idea of, how you get those different promotions out there so people got a sense of how that works. 90% of the time, it's all in person. We have them printed and we have them in, in at the front desk because I have multiple locations and my traffic is actual in-person traffic. Uh, we do that. Once in a while, we will send it through social media. Um, and we actually, that's our weakest link is, is the email blasting. We do not do that. It's been on my mind for the last two years, but fortunately, we're growing fast than we can anticipate it's okay. something that that's really we haven't done so yep it's all in person and while i'm explaining because most of the time i do consultations in person so when i'm explaining the prices and and, and what i'm proposing to a patient i'll be like oh as a matter of fact we have this promo because we run credit cards in person we typically see person in, in person yeah okay good that, that's good to know because some people are going oh my gosh i've got to try and develop a social media account i gotta do all these things well no it's just face to face, which I think is a, it, that's a that's a good lesson for us all to understand. Um, my takeaways: I've got to create some shaggy rugs with KBMO colors, so we can make sure we get those out to everyone. Um, and the other point that I was going to say is just to reiterate: we're very happy if you send us uh, an email. And um, Pauline is going to send me the uh, the laminated uh, sheets that she's done in her colors. If you guys want us to convert that into your own colors, we'd be we'd be delighted to. Because again. 
We're, uh, we've always been big on lamination, as you know, in terms of the foods we test. There's a few other tools out there that people uh, like to have. Uh, I know uh, one, of, one, of our, one of our providers did a great one looking at their hands when they uh, improved um, in, in terms of uh, fr from kind of hand rashes and stuff. So, again, any of those things that you want us to do, we're more than happy to kind of send out uh, to kind of give everyone more and more tools to, uh, to be successful. Cool. Well, all I want to say is thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pauline. That was wonderful. Really, really informative. Uh, and again, great to see uh, some of our uh, older clients and cl existing clients on here. So thank you all for joining. Uh, that definitely means that you uh, you ticked one of the 15. So that's great news that you, you, you did that. So that's good. And hopefully this will incentivize you and give you some inspiration uh, as you go back to the uh, open the office tomorrow morning. So thank you again, Paulina. Very much appreciated. And uh, again, we'll make sure we send the slides, uh, this video out as well. And as well as I get the, uh, the, the laminated sheets, uh, delighted to get those out for everyone as well. So thank you all for listening. Very much appreciated. And we'll, uh, the next one is going to be on October the 16th. We've got a J Dr. John Switchenbaum, who's, a, who's an allergist. Who knew an allergist would run a food sensitivity test? So again, that'll be an interesting one to get another perspective on how he uses the test and how he's implemented that into the practice as well. So thank you all again. And uh, Paulina, thanks again for your help on this. Thank you guys, much love. Now I gotta right, go take another thank client. You. I have a client waiting in the office. <laughs> <laughs> I have two more to go tonight. <laughs> Great, thank Bye, you guys. very much Paulina. Bye-bye.